Microsoft has created a feature called the sensitive word list that we can use to send email to our junk mail folder in case it contains specific words. There, there's a problem with this setup. Let's talk about that. Let's first get to the area where we can set this up. Let's click on admin in our office home. And then from the office admin center, we'll click on admin centers and click on exchange. And that will take us to the Exchange Admin Center. From here, we're going to click on Protection. And at the top, we're going to click on Spam Filter. Now we'll go ahead and click the Edit option by clicking on the pencil. And we'll expand so we can see it a little better. Now we'll click on Advanced Options. And we have the option to mark as Spam, as you see here. And we're going to see a little bit lower where it says apply sensitive word list and we can see that it's now turned on by default it is turned off but I went ahead and turned it on so on the right hand side when you click on it it says when this setting is enabled any messages that are included in the sensitive word list will be marked as spam the problem with this is Microsoft never tells you what's in the sensitive word list and there's no way to edit that list so rather than leaving that on I recommend that you turn it off and do things a different way. So let's go ahead and click Save. And we can create a sensitive word list of our own since Microsoft clearly has not finished developing this yet. So we'll click on Mail Flow on the left-hand side and we'll see rules at the top. Let's go ahead and create a new rule. Expand our rule and we'll just call this the sensitive word list. So we're making our own, but you can call it anything you want. All right, so we're going to see a whole bunch of different options here, but we don't see all the options that we want. So we want to go ahead and click on more options, and now we're going to see the things that will help us to create this list a little better. So apply this rule if at the top, hit the drop down. We're going to say the subject or body includes any of these words. So that means any email in the subject portion, the body section. It's going to have the words that we're about to put in. It's going to be marked as spam. Now, rather than putting in something explicit, we're just going to put in something simple like the word uh, hack. So we have hack in there. Go ahead and keep it family friendly and we'll click OK. So if anybody sends me an email with the word hack in it, then we're going to create a uh, do the following option. So we're going to hit the drop down. And we're going to choose the option of redirect the message to the hosted quarantine. So it's going to end up in the quarantine, where from there you can retrieve it if you want to uh, or whatever it is that you'd like. You could also just choose to reject the message or block the message. Let's go ahead and choose to block the message, but let's do it with an explanation so that way the sender will know why it is it was blocked. And we'll say it's as a sensitive word. And click OK. We can also choose the accept. And that would be an add an exception from a specific sender. So if we have someone that's sends us these words or this word a lot, but we don't want them rejected, then we can choose uh, the sender or the recipient or something like that where we, you know, go ahead and give that an exception. But we're not going to have an exception. We'll just go ahead and continue on. So we're going to enforce the rule, although if you're not ready to enforce it, you could do a test first to see how it goes. You can either do that with policy tips or without. And what a policy tip does is it tells you, here's why this rule worked or here's why this rule didn't work. You can also uh, activate with a specific day and time, and you can stop additional processing of more rules. Let's go ahead and click Save. And now we've created our own sensitive word list. Now, I've gone ahead and sent an email to myself with the word hack in it. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we can see that there's a message here from Office 365 that says, hey, We've got a custom rule saying you can't say that word. So it gives me directions on how to fix it and gives me more information I can pass on to the administrator. So our rule has worked. So that's how we set up the sensitive word list using Office 365.